Jay, first away win for a while. Dressing room must be a happy place tonight. Yeah, it's you know to get that win, it's a great feeling for all lads. You've not done too much wrong away from home. You've had one or two um, heavy defeats at Southport and Blythe, but you've had five two-one defeats. There've been narrow margins, but today you came out on the right side. Yeah, they've all been narrow margins. You know, it's been the mistakes, like I said, and tonight, today we've cut them out. You know, um, first half I thought we were great. Second half we were under a lot of um, pressure, but. You know, we're professional and we've managed the game. You did your attack in first half. You had to defend after the break and George had to make two or three saves, but you never looked in complete danger. No, it's always going to happen, you know, when you come back out half time in a lead, they're going to come out flying and that's what they did. They caused a lot of pressure for us, but again, we managed the game. You've used Sam's throw ins a lot over the last three games. Finally, good to score a goal from one. Yeah, we've been working on them in training, you know, that long throw, you've got to take advantage of it when you got it, and it has paid off today. You've obviously played alongside Zach Mills, but it's, with all respect to Zach, it's even better than that. It's probably one and a half times as long. It's incredible. Yeah, I say it just tops it. <laughs> um, and then the goal, second one, eight minutes before half time, really gave you a platform to build on after the break. Yeah, a vital goal, you know, to just for half time to get that extra weed, you know, it helps massively. What's Carl changed over the last week or so? Um, I think I think everything's the same to be honest, you know, like I say, we've always had a good good group and that um we just seem to be we just I don't know, we're just playing with a bit a bit of freedom, you know, and we know the situation we're in and we need to get out and I think it's just bringing us together more and you know, we're knuckling down. Yourself and Vino came on at half time last week. Obviously injected a bit of life into the game. Started on Tuesday and obviously played again today. Pleased with your impact? Yeah, you know, whether I'm coming off a bench or starting, you know, I'll try and put in as much as I can, same as Vino, who's been in class today. You're within touching distance now, getting out of the bottom three. You don't want to be anywhere near it, and uh, hopefully we're now moving in the right direction. Yeah, well, you know, we're set standard, you know, we've just got to get these running games going now and get our sons out of there. And a home win over Stockport next week would really get things moving nicely, because one win in isolation is great, but you've then got to back it up with with further victories. Yeah, definitely. Starting next week, you know, we need, that's when we need to get that run going now. We've just got to stick together, keep doing what we're doing and hopefully we can push up now. Just been talking to the referee, you seem to be a bit of a marked man today. I think they had three booked within five minutes. You didn't seem deterred by it, I presume it's something you've become yeah. accustomed to. Yeah, they hit me a few times. Like, and I think the ref noticed it, you know, he's seen that though. Every time I'm on the ball, they were just, you know, cropping me. <laughs> but you're presumably pleased to play your part in a, in a big result for the club because it's been a challenging week with the manager departing and uh, a positive performance on Tuesday not the result you wanted but you finally take that away win off today yeah definitely you know everyone you know every, no one wants to be in a relegation battle you know we've all worked hard myself I'll put 100% in every game same as the other lads and you know it's, we've got the win today